to get you set up with Triforce through Retro Bat. So in this tutorial, I'm specifically going to go for the Mario Kart Arcade GP2. So we got some codes just here. So it's not just a case of just putting your game into the folder in Retro Bat. There's a bit more to this one. So just follow what I'm doing and remember to hit notifications so you catch up with all the new Retro Bat videos I got coming up. So let's get into this. So what we're going to do first of all is open up the RetroBat directory. So right click on the desktop shortcut if that's where yours is. Open file location. And from here, obviously, we're going to go into the ROMs folder. And if we just drag this down until we get to Triforce, we find Triforce just here. And just drag your Mario Kart Arcade GP2 into that folder so next thing we need to do is actually download the emulator for this so if we go to emulators just here and we go down to the dolphin triforce which is where the emulator is going to install to it's completely empty at the moment so what i'm going to do is open up retrobat and actually install it from here so all we're going to do is just find the retrobat icon and download that emulator from there And the one you want is Dolphin WX Triforce. So let's just open this up and it will download and install it. And the emulator Dolphin Triforce is not installed. So obviously we want to install this one. So press yes and let that install. And once this opens up, we still need some work to do inside of here. So for now, what I'm going to do is just close this one down and close down Retrobat. So we now have the emulator downloaded into our folder, as we can see just here. It's now downloaded the contents. So next thing we're going to want to do is open up Dolphin from here. And what I tend to do is actually add my game into this Dolphin. So what I'm going to do for this is just go to File, Browse for ISOs, and then just navigate until we find where your game is. So Retrobat, and this is in my C drive, obviously, and ROMs, and my Mario Kart GP2 will be located, of course, in my Triforce folder, which is just here. And I'm going to just select this folder, and that's going to add that one in. So we've got that one installed now into Dolphin itself, so that's fine. Now we've got a load of codes just here, and what we're going to need to do, I'm going to leave this in my description, so it will just be a matter of you copy and pasting this and copying what I'm doing. So we're just going to highlight all of this codes just here. If you right-click on it whilst it's highlighted in blue, and left-click on Copy, so that's now copied, what we're going to do next is go back into Dolphin just here. And if I right click on that game and select properties, I'm then going to go to edit config, which you can find just here. And this has now opened up a note document. So just a minute ago when I copied all that text, what I'm going to do inside here is just right click and then left click on paste. And then we're going to file and then save and you can close this down. OK, so once you've done that, just go to Patches and make sure everything here is checked as so. If we go to Close, what I'm going to do now is open this game up outside of Retrobat just to test this. So double left click. Mario! Okay, now what I recommend you doing, if you want to change how this looks, don't do it inside Retrobat. I recommend doing this where we are already with a standalone emulator. So to configure graphics, all we're going to do is go to graphics just here. And from here, we can full screen this to 1080p if that's what you want. We can also use aspect ratio, which I recommend to force 16 by 9 to give it a full screen. And also be sure to use check full screen so that's enabled and also check vsync now if we go under enhancements we got internal resolution but just be aware that the further up you go up to say four times the more pressure it's going to put on your hardware so 
you know, that's entirely up to your hardware, what you're running. I personally recommend taking this up to around two times to three times if you've got a modest set up. So we've also got anti-aliasing. And again, if you've got the 16 samples, that's going to be a little bit more tearing on your hardware. So if your hardware can handle it, then by all means, got the 16 samples. That's entirely up to you. So let's close this again. And I'm going to close down outside of this standalone emulator, which Retrobat has downloaded. And I'm going to head back into Retrobat and open it up through there. <laughs> So there we go, that's you set up with Mario Kart GP2 using Triforce through Retrobat. And if this video proves to be popular like a lot of my Retrobat videos are these days, I'm happy to show you how to get the first Mario Kart GP run in. And remember to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro!